Mi mona far Yaakov, misbar roba Yisrael. Who can count the dust of Jacob and the Zerah, as Rashi interprets it, of Yisrael, the seed of generations? What's this all about? Why Afar, Rashi mentions the list of mitzvahs that we fulfill with Afar, and Yaakov Avinu is chosen here of all the others, and why Rova, why the seed of Israel? All of our history and our challenge as the Jewish nation is because Torah is Torah's emes. It's infinite and it's truth. But we're always fighting the battle with those who try to detract from the truth and those adversaries that throw confusion and sheker, hurling words of insult and falsehood, fabricating the truth. The truth is infinite, as we said. Afar represents the number one, infinity. We begin with Afar, we end with Afar, and the myriad of mitzvahs that we do with Afar represent infinity. Infinity represents truth, and Torah is Torah's emes. Yaakov is emes, the midah of truth. He is the personification and the attribute of truth. But again, as we said, it's an ongoing battle that truth should become clarified against sheker, which sometimes confuses us. And we look at the generations and we see sometimes evil people, but then generations down the line, we'll see a tzaddik, a David Amela coming from Lot and other many, many biblical examples. He wrote to me his will that we always face this challenge of dedicating ourselves to be like Yaakov, who is the man of truth, to be like Yaakov, who's off our represents every single time a Jew steps on the ground on his way to do a mitzvah. And the myriad of mitzvahs that represent the truth of Torah, Torah's emes, and will be able to reveal the truth through our tzaddikim against and defeat any sort of detracting distortion of those who represent Shek. In that battle, we will dedicate ourselves to truth to Torah and will succeed. Katie Ratzon, thank you and have a great week.